determination of concentration of potassium permanganate solution using ferrous ammonium sulfate which is also called as Mohr salt. To determine the strength of given potassium permanganate solution using ferrous ammonium sulfate, we will use a experiment by name titration. In this titration, potassium permanganate solution of unknown concentration is titrated against a standard solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate which is of 0.1 molar. In this, the reaction is as follows. The reaction taking place in the above titration is a redox process in which potassium permanganate solution is a strong oxidizing agent since it has more number of oxygen and ferrous ammonium sulfate solution is a reducing agent. In this reaction, permanganate ion of potassium permanganate is reduced to Mn2 plus ion in presence of acid medium and ferrous ion of ferrous ammonium sulfate is oxidized to ferric ion. The procedure will be as follows. Potassium permanganate solution is a purple colored solution. Now we are going to take this solution a little of it in a burette then rinse the burette by rolling it and discard the solution from top end and then through the nozzle using stopper so that the concentration of potassium permanganate solution to be taken in a burette remains constant. Then using a funnel fill the burette using a potassium permanganate solution which is an oxidizing agent. Before starting an experiment, we should be careful that the nozzle should be filled. Thus, fill the nozzle and now adjust the solution to zero mark by making upper meniscus of potassium permanganate to coincide to zero in the burette and clamp it to the stand. And since potassium permanganate is a colored solution, we should look for upper meniscus. Next is, now put pipette out the little amount of FAS, which is a reducing agent, into a pipette and then rinse the pipette and discard this solution. Then pipette out 10 ml of ferrous ammonium sulfate solution till the H mark and see to it that lower meniscus of this solution coincides with the H mark. Since ferrous ammonium sulphate is a colorless solution, you want to go for lower meniscus. Now transfer the solution into a clean conical flask. At the last, if any solution is left out in the pipette, tap the bottom of a conical flask using your pipette thrice or four times. Now to the conical flask, add a one test tube of dilute sulfuric acid which acts as a acid medium. In this experiment, we are not using any external indicator since the potassium permanganate solution itself is a self indicator as it is colored. Then while doing a titration, we should use a right hand for stirring the solution in conical flask and left hand is used to control the knob of a burette. Now we will run potassium permanganate solution from burette into conical flask containing ferrous ammonium sulfate solution and dilute sulfuric acid. Continue adding potassium permanganate into conical flask drop by drop with stirring. We can observe the pink color in the conical flask vanishing fast that means ferrous ammonium sulfate is reacting with potassium permanganate. Continue adding till we get a permanent pale pink color as it is reaching an end point. As it is reaching an end point we can see a local pink color 
which disappears slowly when the solution in conical flask turns permanent pale pink color stop the titration this indicates the end point of the titration appearance of permanent pale pink color is due to excess drop of potassium permanganate which is not reacting with ferrous ammonium sulfate indicating that all ferrous ammonium sulfate is used up and no more to react means all ferrous ion is converted into ferric ion indicating an end point now the final burette reading what we obtain is 10 cm cube note down this burette reading in tableau column in the tableau column we have trials followed by final burette reading initial burette reading and volume of kmno4 in cm cube this is the first reading similarly repeat the titration for concordant values and enter into a tableau column since our first trial started with 0 initially we will write it as 0.0 and final will be 10.0 thus the volume of kmno4 in cm cube is 10.0 similarly for the next trial you can enter it into a second trial column after conducting an experiment we are going to enter the readings thus after entering we can find the volume of kmno4 is found to be 10 cm cube that is a concordant value what we got is same so that is called as concordant values moving on after knowing this calculations we are going to move using a formula what is called as a1 m1 v1 is equal to a2 m2 v2 where a1 is nothing but number of electrons gain per unit of kmno4 which is equal to 5 then a2 number of electrons lost per unit of ferrous ammonium sulfate 1 and m1 which is a molarity of potassium permanganate solution which is unknown to be find out then m2 which is a molarity of ferrous ammonium sulfate which is equal to 0.1 molar then v1 volume of potassium permanganate solution which is a burette reading is equal to 10 cm cube v2 volume of ferrous ammonium sulfate solution pipetted out 10 ml thus substituting these values in the formula will be having m1 is equal to m2 v2 a2 divided by a1 v1 now substitute all the values and we'll find out the molarity of unknown kmno4 solution the final result is the molarity of kmno4 obtained from the formula is equals to 0.02 molar